you guys welcome to a new video autumn has arrived i am really really excited clothing wise autumn is probably my favorite season and it is time to switch my closet over from spring and summer to autumn i'm gonna leave the winter stuff out for now because i believe we're still supposed to get like 20 degree weather over the weekend and it's been like around 15 degrees in general. It's not quite faux fur season yet, but I am just so excited to bring out my burgundy sweaters again and all of my plaid things and it's time to put away the summery florals and pastels. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do today guys. I'm gonna go through my closet, take out all of my summery stuff. I'm gonna go through everything actually and see if there's anything I want to donate because I no longer wear it. There shouldn't be too much of that stuff because I do go through my closet pretty regularly. If I've done well, <laughs> there won't be too many items for me to get rid of, but still gonna have a look. And then I'm gonna head into the storage downstairs, take up my autumn and winter clothing and just kind of sort through that as well and see what I want to put back into my closet for the next couple of months. That's the plan, so let's get started, I guess. Step one is just taking out everything that is definitely summer clothing, so any flowy dresses, things like that, that I won't be able to bring to autumn. Hopefully by doing that, I can free up some hangers because we're gonna need those. Alrighty, so here are all the clothes that I'm gonna put into storage for now. As you can see, a bunch of florals, flowy fabric, just not stuff that I'll be able to wear over autumn and winter. Those are all the hangers that I freed up, which is a lot, that's really nice. Now there are actually a couple of items that I'm going to let go of. Not a lot, but just a few. So first thing is this King's Day t-shirt that I got in a goodie bag. It just, well, first of all, this is occasion wear. Um, I can only wear this on King's Day and I have something to wear on King's Day and this writing just is very not me. Um, so yeah, that's gonna go. <laughs> I have this dress which I actually bought eight or nine years ago. It has been now um, when I went to Paris with my mom and it's hard for me to let go of because I got it when I was in Paris with my mom but this really isn't my style anymore. I can't really see myself wearing this. I think I'm gonna try and figure out something else to do with this dress. I don't think I'm gonna be wearing it anymore. So yeah, that's that. And then I'm gonna get rid of one old bra that I'm not gonna show you. <laughs> but that's, yeah, that is everything. So next step is to bring in my autumn clothing and find a way to fit everything in my wardrobes. Honestly, the majority of my things have remained because we have, you know, pretty mild weather pretty much year round. So all the like long sleeve shirts, blouses and things like that, I just always keep in my closet. I have also kept this dress in, this one, this one, the cherry dress, just because I don't really feel good folding those up and putting them in those vacuum storage bags. I don't know, they're just really nice dresses that I want to keep in my closet and they might serve as occasion wear or for videos and things like that so I'm gonna keep those out for now but everything else in here is wearable um, at least through the rest of autumn I think but I will have to rearrange some stuff probably especially down here in my drawers because this is where I keep my t-shirt long sleeve and short sleeve t-shirts keep all of that in here there is a little bit of room here and then I could put some more stuff in. I have these wire baskets here, two of them, that I usually store my sweaters in. I kept these out just, you know, um, to throw on if it were to get colder in spring and summer. But usually these are all filled up with sweaters. And now I kept my, pr my printed t-shirts in here as well, which are taking up space. So I think I'm gonna move my printed t-shirts in with the rest of my t-shirts 
and then hang up everything that is a hoodie or like a jersey material that can be on a hanger and doesn't have to be folded like um, knits do, knits have to be folded. So I have actually taken my vacuum bag out of storage already and um, I was surprised by how little was actually in it but like I mentioned I just left the majority of my clothes in my closet. So this is my pile of autumnal things that I will have to fit in. This is going back into storage because those are mostly just really warm winter coats and I don't need those yet. And then I also have some really wintry, very thick sweaters as well um, that I left in the storage downstairs. So I will take those out again when winter comes around. You should never die. Done. So now the last step is shoes. I definitely have a few that are gonna go into storage. All of these are going to go downstairs into storage to be picked up when spring comes around again. These are now coming back into rotation. So I have my over the knee boots here that I'm really excited to wear again. And these pretty little booties. And those right there, I'm afraid, are gonna have to go into the trash can because I don't know if this is just me um, maybe this is really embarrassing I don't really know but on me after like one or two years those fabric ballet flats will just start permanently smelling like stinky feet and I don't know they just absorb the smell like crazy and I just can't wear them anymore because as soon as they warm up from like you know body heat they will just emit this stinky feet smell which is really gross. Yeah, it, it always happens with these fabric flats. So I already replaced them with these like faux leather ones that I hope won't do that as badly. The soles of these are absolutely horrendous. I don't know who designed this. Sorry, um, no mean to offend anyone, but why? <laughs> Anyway, I thought they looked really pretty and elegant on the outside and who's gonna see the sole anyways. Yeah, I'm hoping that because these are faux leather both inside and outside, they might, you know, not soak up the smelly feet smell as much and last me for a little bit longer. I think I'm done here. Look how the burgundy section in my closet just went <laughs> I love it. I am so excited to start wearing all of these things again 
and fully immerse myself in autumn outfits. I really hope you enjoyed this video guys and maybe it inspired you to take a look at your closet as well, switch over some seasonal items and reevaluate what you no longer need. If you did enjoy this video don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for loads more beauty and lifestyle content. If you would like to support me through Patreon or my merch store there will be links in the description box below. Thank you so much for your support. There is another video here that I think you might also enjoy. You can go watch next. Thank you for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye!